If you study statistics, you probably came across the rule where we compare P value to alpha or significance level to draw our conclusions. And this value is usually 5%. We also learned the statistics that if P value is less than alpha, then results are statistically significant. But what is alpha? So alpha value is nothing but the P threshold, which the researchers agree on before they conduct in this test. Look at this picture, we have a normal distribution. The red dot represents the alpha significance level or a threshold of p-value. Now let's say that green and orange points represent the results obtained from our experiment. We can see that our green points are greater than alpha. They are located on the left. These values can be obtained with a very high likelihood. And that's why those sample results are regarded as lucky. Look at the orange points. They are less than our alpha. They are less than our red. Those sample results are very rare. They are very unlucky to get. That's why they are significantly different to the population. The alpha value is decided based on the test performed, but usually it is 5%. The smaller the value of alpha, the harder it is for us to consider our results as significant.